Seth, Squirrel, and Ryan. We're talking about the Trek Session 9.9. .9. I thought it was very lightweight and nimble and had a good neutral geometry. Um, it felt, uh, felt like a great bike to, to race on or to, to take in the park. Which I loved. I thought it was an excellent, versatile, all around, no matter what kind of trail you run into, you can ride a downhill bike on it and have a blast. I like this, a lot of the details on the frame too. They're, they offer a lot of protection. Uh, yeah. You know, the carbon mm -hmm. is protected in, in many places, you know, and they have integrated, you know, chain stay protection, uh, also uh, seat stay protection on the outside for, you know, also, you know, your shoes rubbing up against it, but also the bike get knocked, gets knocked over. Mm -hmm. uh, the bike's protected. Uh, down tube has protection as well, all integrated, very sleek, very good looking. The bike as a whole has very clean lines. I just, I love the way the bike looks. That this is the bike. I, I, I wasn't really into it, but I certainly wasn't against this bike at all. I just felt this this might be one of those bikes that it, I would pro probably, um, maybe lots of other people, would want to spend a little bit more time tuning in, like uh, maybe just tuning in the cockpit. Our cockpit came with 750 bars, which felt really narrow even that. I can't believe I'm saying 750 is narrow, <laughs> but they did feel narrow for this kind of application. Things like the shock, I definitely like to play around with the shock and maybe get that set and dialed in. We were riding a large. I certainly would not ride a medium, even though I'm right on the cusp between a medium and a large. I feel like perhaps that a large was oversprung for my weight. Perhaps it'd be interesting to play with that. Fork, play with that a little bit more. Maybe even play with the rake, with the, the head angle of the, with the, the front end a little bit. And like how would this bike, so predictable, responsive, behaved exactly like I wanted to whenever I wanted to. It, 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 it was, uh, we talk about these, our favorite, some of our favorite bikes are the bikes that blur the lines, like are the XC bikes that feel trail-y, or trailer bikes that feel like all mountain-y. This was a DH bike that felt all mountain-y. 